So you're probably at a situation where you feel really depressed, your mind is everywhere, and you're possibly your mood is everywhere, and maybe your doctor has told you you possibly have low serotonin levels. And they either gave you an antidepressant, or maybe you have ADHD and your mood is all over the place, and they might have given you an antidepressant or an actual ADHD medication to stabilize not only the dopamine, but also the serotonin. But you're also wondering, okay, what else can I do to help stabilize or at least increase my serotonin levels other than just using medications? Is there something I can eat, something I can take to help increase my serotonin levels? Well, there certainly is, and I'm going to talk about that right after this intro. Welcome back my optimal mind, Dr. Legrand here, and today we're going to be talking about specifically what you can do, what foods you can actually specifically be eating to increase your serotonin levels. So let's first talk about serotonin just for a second here. If you're not familiar with serotonin, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that is released in our brain but also released throughout our body. And it is the type of neurotransmitter that is considered to help stabilize our mood. It also helps with regulate our sleep. So it's also considered a precursor breakdown to melatonin. Um, and also 5-HTP helps build serotonin. So there's definitely different certain pathways, but if we're just talking about just serotonin, how to build serotonin. But it also helps with appetite. It's also considered, you know, the be happy kind of also neurotransmitter. And don't worry, be happy, don't worry. Na, 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 you know that song. But basically that is the type of neurotransmitter that helps with that. And we see it decrease when people tend to be depressed or our mood is definitely not balanced. And it also can show up with people who have ADHD, especially because a good 50 plus percent of people with ADHD deal with anxiety and also depression. And there can be definitely serotonin levels that dip and drop in that case. So let's talk about certain foods that need to be implemented as far as helping increasing your serotonin levels, but making sure that you're getting the adequate amounts of food on a daily basis so that you can build those serotonin levels naturally. Okay. So the big thing about serotonin that if you are low in serotonin levels, a lot of times it's because you're not getting complex carbs. Okay. I'm not talking about simple carbs, but complex carbs that are nutrient dense. So let's first talk about carbs that you should be avoiding. So these are the troubled carbs. Uh, you know, even though serotonin levels usually can increase with carbs, but certainly over time when you are having just simple carbs, it is not really the adequate kind of carbs that you should be taking. So I'm talking about things like pasta, pancakes, waffles, crackers. I'm talking about things that are like bagels, muffins, fruit juices, soda pops, all, even white rice, as well as even uh, potatoes. Potato, I'm talking about like a big starchy potatoes, not the best option for getting a good quality of carbs in because those big starchy potatoes where most of our French fries, potato chips are made from, uh, really are not much nutrient dense at all. Uh, they're just very starchy. What I recommend is if you're going to do potatoes is to go with the smaller potatoes, like the red and gold potatoes are going to be the better options of potatoes. Also, sweet cereal. So a lot of the sweet cereal that your kids love, I mean, I still like uh, you know cereal here and there, but really those are things that you should be avoiding and not be consuming if you want to increase your serotonin levels. Try to get better types of carbs. So let's talk about the carbs that you should be actually consuming more on a daily basis. The smart carbs that you want to help increase your serotonin levels so that you can feel more happy, have a stabilized balance. Because really what serotonin needs is the insulin, but in the right amount of dosages, okay? Because what happens with the simple carbs, simple carbs can spike our sugar levels, can spike our insulin, and eventually lead into insulin resistance, which doesn't give us consistent balance insulin for our serotonin, okay? So we need that balanced consistency. And I talked about previously how you balance the dopamine. That has to do with protein. So you, eating protein and very complex carbs is a good way to balance your blood sugar levels. But not only that, it can balance the intake of, the, of helping you build the serotonin and dopamine levels. So the carbs that you should be consuming, the smart carbs, these are things like going off of potatoes, eat more like sweet potatoes and those smaller potatoes. Brown rice is also a better option as well because white rice, any like white starchy stuff is not going to be a good option. Same with bread. You don't want to do white bread. Do more whole grain bread. Okay. 
uh, still cut oats, you know, eat it with berries, uh, even with stevia to kind of sweeten it. Don't use honey or sugar to try to sweeten it, but use something like stevia that can be really good to getting those kind of smart carbs that you want to get in. The other things are like cantaloupe as well as like apples, uh, red peppers, bell peppers, cherries. Those are great options to be able to help get the right types of carbs that you need to be getting on a daily basis. Okay, so try to remember that when you are taking your food choices, when you're deciding on your starches and carbs, think of the smarter, complex carbs that are more nutrient dense when you're choosing your carbs, okay, and not the easiest thing. And a good rule of thumb is really is anything that's packaged, most cases are going to be simple carbs. Things that are not packaged that are more it's actual whole food form are going to be more of your complex types of carbs that are more nutrient dense. Okay. So if you're looking for helping your ADHD or helping your focus and attention and trying to find a way either for yourself, for your child, I have a free training that goes over my proprietary process called the ADD mindset formula. This is what I use for my clients and patients to help them achieve a sharp focused mind to be able to achieve that to so that they can be successful in life so that they can accomplish more in life and unlock their true potential okay and so that is in the description below that you can watch that free training and until next time this is dr legrand and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks bye